Oh, yeah, anytime, you know. We don't see DJ have too many, uh, you know, days where he struggles uh, at the plate. Um, of course, obviously, that's going to happen. Um, but then jumping on that first pitch and riding it out, a no-doubter to right. You know, I mean, he's been he's been coming up huge for us all year. And, and just when you think he's down a day, he, he comes up huge. What you think of the job that Green got himself into a jam, got out of the jam. Chapman came in as well as Guerin to, to kind of close things out for you guys. And yeah, a lot of a lot of gutsy efforts today out of out of guys out of the pen. You know, Greeny were ideally trying to stay away from. You know, obviously that didn't happen. Made some big pitches. Um, you know, Corey Guerin. You know, we didn't really want to go to a second inning. He he's you know probably a little bit on fumes out there. Keeps on making pitches. You know, Loizaga gets himself into some trouble, but makes pitches. I thought I thought the same was was true for Domingo. You know, he got in some trouble and made pitches. A couple big time double plays uh, turned behind them, um, but just just a lot of. Um, big pitches um, in big spots that, that allowed us to hang around and win that game. Britain exited early. They announced cramping in his calf. In your mind, is is that it or yeah, more? Yeah, I mean, I hope so. Just seeing him after the game, he said he felt fine, and, and Stevie said he was jumping around after uh, when he came in. Um, you know, I hear cramp in the calf, and obviously, and, and I've hurt my calf before, so that it was made me nervous but the fact that he was moving like he is right now you know we'll see what we have but initial signs are hopefully we dodge something that matt chapman double in the seventh i believe almost looked like it was foul was there any consideration there to, to challenging it yeah yeah i mean we waited a long time um you know ultimately i think i probably should have challenged it um you know kind of running out of time there it was it was pretty gray for us um so you know that that one's on me because i think there was a chance i haven't looked at it yet but just kind of as the game unfolded here and some of the people talk about it um I maybe should have done that justin clap to the right and when you are grinding a game out like that against a team like oakland what is the feeling like in the dugout when Everyone sees that ball hit off DJ's bat. Yes, let's go home. Uh, I mean, that's, you know, you play extra innings, long season. Uh, anytime you know the game's ending uh, on a play like that, especially a game that, you know, kind of was a grind, a lot of big plays on both sides. Um, it's everyone just a little exhale and a smile and um, finally, finally got one against those guys. And earlier in the game, uh, Domingo on the mound, you went out there for a visit. What'd you say to him? Uh, I just wanted to make sure he was, you know, obviously a bit another big situation for him there and up against Chapman. I just wanted to make sure he was locked in and, um, you know, really focusing on the next pitch as being the most important. And uh, I, I just wanted to look at him and remind him of that and, and have him finish. And, and he did. He made a, was a you know, huge huge out in that spot to keep the game there clap aaron at one point in the eighth inning you were on your way to your fifth straight loss to the a's how important was it to win this game and not let them establish that kind of dominance i mean uh, we want to win how important it you know i don't know i mean we'll see how it affects things but i, I don't think Win or lose, I, I don't think it affects anything moving forward with them, how our guys go about it, what our expectation would be walking into tomorrow. I mean, you like to win a game like that where you use all your pen, where you use high leverage guys. So that, you know, that's one of those games that can bleed into tomorrow a little bit. But as far as a psyche, um, which I, I feel like you're asking maybe a little bit, uh, I, win or lose, I, I don't think it would affect anything, frankly. Dave. Aaron, you guys have been so good on the, on the replay challenges. You guys have a good track record at success. Did that eat at you a little bit as, as when you didn't challenge and, and the game went on a little and oh, yeah. that run was kind of standing up? Oh, yeah. And, and to have the guys bail me out of that is is huge because ultimately that comes down to my my decision. And, and like I said, I probably should have done that. Um, so, uh, yeah, big time of the guys to, to, to pick me up there. Anyone else? in the back here.
Gary was basically the offense for a while there today. What did you see from him and his at-bats? Um, I believe he got Bailey over there in, in Oakland, too. Looked like he uh, both breaking balls, you know, and, and just, you know, you know, obviously saw him good, broke into the zone. You know, one of kind of that patented Gary where he, you know, wrote, <laughs> just drops the head on a breaking ball down and look like down and in and a no doubter. And then really a good job getting one that up and out over. Looked like another breaking ball to me where he goes the other way. And, you know, it's good to see him do that because we know obviously he's capable of going out to all fields. And, and usually when he's, he's driving the ball that way, uh, usually he's in a good spot. Uh, last one, Dan, to the right. Given what uh, Voigt is coming back from, uh, what did you think of his at-bats today? I thought okay. Um, you know, I thought the shadows were a little bit of an issue maybe in that last at-bat. Um, you know, obviously you know, some punch-outs, but, you know, that's going to happen. I feel like he's he's getting some good swings off, um, even go, obviously going back to yesterday. So just check in again with him. Uh, after the game and see how he came out of it. The biggest thing right now for me is making sure that he feels not only healthy, but strong and healthy and, and, and feels like he's bouncing back. Because if that's the case, then now he'll start to get results with it over time.